All right, more about functions. We are writing rules for linear functions. A couple of vocab words. Function notation. A lot of times you'll see an equation like this, y equals 3x plus 7, and that is a function rule. But when we have function notation, instead of writing that y, we have this right here. So instead of writing y equals, I'm going to write f of x. We say that f of x. So f of x equals 3x plus 7. All you're doing is replacing that y in that equation. So that's our function notation. It just basically says when I plug x into this equation, when I plug any x into this equation, I multiply by 3, add 7, and then I get f of that x, or the answer for that particular x. So instead of writing our equation, this is y-intercept form, instead of writing it y equals 3x plus 7, you're going to write it f of x equals 3x plus 7. All right, so the function rule is just an equation that tells you, just describes the function, tells you what the function is going to do. X is your input, so your input is going to be your X. Any X, you have a whole bunch, you could have a whole bunch of different inputs, you could have one input, it just depends on what your domain is. And your output is your Y or your F of X. With, function, with functions, you'll use this notation right here instead of Y. Paula works at a local store. Each week he earns $300 salary plus a 3% commission on his sales. What are Paula's earnings for one week if his sales are $2,500? All right, so first we need to write a function rule. So we are going to write it in function notation. F of X or Paula's salary equals something times X plus something, right? Because he had his salary and then he had a commission. So his plus something is going to be this $300. It's never going to change. He is always going to get $300. So we just add that to his commission. His commission is 3%. So we write 3% as a decimal, 0 0.03 times X. This right here is his commission. So it's his commission plus his salary equals his earnings for the week. All right, so if his earnings are 2,500, then we need to substitute in this for his sales. I said his X was his sales, right? His sales times his commission rate. So you can do that at home and see what you get for an answer. We will talk about that in class. All right, here we are going to write a function rule from a table. So the first thing we need to do is look for patterns. Um, and we have this pattern here with our x's every time we're adding 2. So that's how our x is changing. With our y's, or our f of x, we used to think of this as y when we were doing linear equations. We are changing by adding 6 every time. So we need to think about our slope of our equation. So our slope is change in y, or y2 minus y1, over our change in x, x2 minus x1. That is the formula for our slope, right? Or we can think about it as change in y over change in x. My y is changing by adding 6 every time. So my change in y. My x is changing by adding 2 every time. So my slope is 3. When I write this function rule, I have f of x equals my slope, which is 3, times my input, x. And then I have to find something here because 3 times x is not what's going on here, right? So 2 times 3 equals 6, not 7. So we have one more extra there. So right here we've got this formula right here, and then we're adding 1. Right here, my x times 3 equals 12, and but we have 13, so we're also adding 1 here, right? 0 times 3 is 0, so we're also adding 1 here. 
at negative 2 times 3 is negative 6, plus 1 is negative 5. So for every one of these, we have our 3x, but then we are adding 1. So you can write these rules. You can use multiplication, division, subtraction, addition. You can use exponents. So you just need to find these patterns. And sometimes it can be very difficult. Where we're just starting out, they will not be this, that difficult. But they can get very difficult. You need to look for a combination of the operations, adding, subtracting, multiplying, dividing, exponents, okay, things like that. Um, so our equation here is f of x equals 3x plus 1. And you can check it. You can substitute every one of these sets of numbers, every one of these coordinate pairs, and you can check it and make sure that you have the correct function rule here. All right, writing a function rule from a line. So we are going to put it in slope-intercept form. f of x equals slope times x plus our y-intercept, right? And mx plus b, this is our slope, if you remember from linear. This is our y-intercept, if you remember from linear. So our y-intercept is where our line crosses our y-axis. So our y-intercept is right here at negative 1. So we've got subtract 1 right there. All right, then my f of x isn't going to change. It's going to stay the same. My x is still going to be there. I've got to figure out what my slope is. So I can look here. And I can go from this line to this line. We have a rise of 2, and it's, remember, it's rise over run. It's been a while since we did linear, so make sure you keep that in mind. Rise over run, so our rise is 2. Put this in the correct spot. And our run is 1, 2, 3, 4. So our slope is 2 over 4, which is also 1 half. So your rule for that function is f of x equals 1 half x minus 1. And that is it for writing rules of linear functions.